By sheer coincidence, we have another question here that reminds me of the connector placement rule. I have a word like however, seems like it's maybe in different versions of a sentence, but who knows, let's see what's going on here. The thing I'm drawn to first is we have a period in choice D. And the period is a very strict punctuation mark. It needs to separate two complete sentences. So if we have two complete sentences, that's it, game over. It's gotta be D. So let's check for that first, starting here. Like an Elvis impersonator who might bear a striking resemblance to the late musical icon Elvis Presley himself, an Elvis taxon is not the real thing, however. Okay. Well, yeah, it's, it's a long sentence. It's a confusing sentence, but here's where the sentence actually is. An Elvis taxon is not the real thing. That's a sentence. Now, the word however kind of throws me off. It's a very long intro to this sentence, but that part in yellow is, it, that's the sentence. An Elvis taxon is not the real thing. That could stand alone. We could get rid of all the extra clauses and that'd be fine. Now we're listening to see if this other part, starting with it, is going to be a sentence as well. It is a misidentified lookalike. That's also a sentence. It is my subject. Is is my verb. It's about as simple as a subject verb pair as we can get. So that's that. These are two sentences. You have no choice. You've got to pick D. Now, sometimes we can join a sentence with a conjunction, like the word but. The problem is we need to have a comma plus a conjunction in order to do that. So the, the but without the comma doesn't work. Plus, however, but, that's kind of weird. We probably would never do that. So that's that's strange on its own. But yeah, people, people really want to pick C here. Uh, the reason I think is that the second sentence is really, really short. So they want it to kind of feel like, oh, that's not enough. It's not complete. But remember, long sentences can be incomplete. Or let me put it this way. Long clauses can be incomplete sentences, can be fragments. Okay. But short things can be complete sentences. It has nothing to do with the length of what we're looking at. It has to do with the grammar of it. So just because something feels like it's missing ideas or missing details does not mean that it is an incomplete sentence. We are listening. Could it kind of stand alone? Basically, does it have a subject and a verb pair? But we don't want to get too deep into the grammar of what makes a sentence. You really want to just have this kind of like as an instinct, something you feel. And hopefully by watching my videos, I'm strengthening that instinct for you. But that's it. Yeah. However, really doesn't matter. I, it's still kind of a connector placement question, but um, mostly we had no choice. We had to pick D because we needed period. And sometimes that's really what it comes down to. So if you see a period, you see a semicolon, those are probably the choices you want to check first because they might solve the whole thing.